Hello guys, my name is Doke and this is Raw Series and no, I didn't forget the music it's meant to be like this so you can hear every single detail you can feel the atmosphere of this beautiful place and yeah Ah, someone had a party over here and this always pisses me off why can't you take your fucking trash with you anyways today we are painting with rollers only spray paint isn't allowed look at this one two three four five five buckets of colors by the way this is how I protect the color from getting into my car. I put the tape over it. It's not necessary, but if you want to have your mind in peace, it's better to do it like that. This color that I have over here is like, I don't know, three years old. It was sitting in my garage forever. So I hope that I'll be actually able to use it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Ooh, that looks nice. Really nice. This will be my main weapon today. One of the advantages of painting with just these colors is that I won't need my respirator. And also no mouth protection because as you can see I'm completely alone over here all right let's do this so right now let's hope that this color will actually work I knew that th this roller isn't really ideal it doesn't fit to the top. Great, I wasted the roller. <sighs> I don't really want this big boy. So I guess that I'll work with this guy. People like to use this kind of graffiti in the streets on a really high spots. These are really hot spots because you know everybody can see it and nobody can really paint over you or buff you. All right, the color works nice, nicely. Boom, baby! <sighs> so far this is quite nice. I like that it is different from painting a normal piece no 
Ho ho! Wow! What a safe! Yeah, these yellow rollers don't fit completely to my stick, but I hope that I'll I'll be able to finish this because I don't have that many rollers. All right. So these are the first lines. I'll need to make sort of some kind of a background because I have a black outline and the background can't be black. That would like, we wouldn't see the outline basically. But yeah, I want some additional elements over here. Huh, what about a one big fat Plus. All right. And one more plus over here. Uh, this one is kind of crooked. I'll make this like this, this, boom. You know, sometimes people do these pieces also in legal spots because they want these pieces to actually stay over here for a long time. This is not really the case. Damn it, I got color in my mouth. Yeah, I don't care if it stays over here, if somebody paints a big piece from the bottom to the top over here paints over me that's completely okay also if he repaints just the bottom part of it I don't I don't really care you know it's a legal spot people shouldn't disrespect you but painting over you is just a normal thing Whee! If you want it really good, two layers of color are the solution. The last time when I have done a roller, it was actually at this very spot and I almost got attacked by a dog. Big brown Doberman. It's like three years later and the very same dog was walking around here like 30 seconds ago. I was already prepared to protect myself, but he's gone. I guess that they improved his behavior or he just didn't notice me. So I have this little tiny roller over here, which fits to this stick. And I have a beautiful purple reddish. It's more red than purple. Yeah, I, I just have a background color. I didn't put any water in there because I want it I didn't want it to do any mess yeah this is this is nice actually a bit of a water would help maybe All right, the background will need a couple more, couple more layers, but right now it's time for the outline. So for that, I'll need black. <sighs> Boom. And I'll need another roller. Or actually just this. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Yeah. Right now I'll replace the rollers because I, I want to use this later 
Come on. Whew. That wasn't easy. Get in, buddy. Damn it. God damn it. Ah, okay, finally. Boom, Blakey. Yeah. Alrighty, so outline would be almost done. Right now I need to switch the rollers once again. For sure it will be easier to have two rollers, but I don't. So this is what I have to do. Because I need the red-ish color once again. Ah. Boom! Perfect. I need to fix details like this. Right now a little bit of dirtiness and fun. Sometimes I like to make things dirty. And I also like drips. Boom. There's one last thing that I need to do, but first these things have to dry. Meanwhile, I would like to show you how people do roll-ups in the streets in the case that the wall is just simply too high for any stick. Because you might have seen roll-ups at places that you would never ever, ooh, hi pigeon, you would never ever reach with a stick. So first of all, they need to climb to the spot which is sometimes really dangerous and when they reach the spot where they want to paint 
they need to grab. Oh fuck. They need to grab the stick from above. They have a bucket with a color. Ooh. And they do it like this. Which is ooh. Okay, oh oh oh. I'm not really a guy who is afraid of heights, but frankly when I'm like this, I I would have liked to do my roll up from this position. You know, you have to basically lay over here and paint like this. And this is like, I don't know, five meters. Let's imagine that it's 50 meters. Not much of a difference practically, but emotionally it's a huge, it's a huge difference. And yeah, my man Lepak, he likes roll-ups quite a lot. Bam. Alright guys, this was fun and I, yeah, I hope that you liked it just as I did. But yeah, hey, thumb up if you liked this video or you want to support this lovely channel and this is it.